Fortnite just revealed some crazy things about season four. They dropped some brand new trailers that we're going to be dissecting for secrets, and there are a lot to look at. And with that being said, guys, if you think it'd be awesome for Fortnite to give everybody a battle pass for season four, like they did back in chapter one, leave a like on the video and also make sure to subscribe. But yeah, not only are we going to be looking at the trailers today, we're going to be looking at changes on the map and how they are connected to certain characters and NPCs, as well as looking into the disappearances of the seven and a secret underground base there's a ton of stuff to cover today and as for the skin challenge on last video it was wolverine zero so here's a bunch of people that got that right this time around comment the name of this skin and i'll leave hearts on a bunch of the ones that get that right so guys first things first if we hop onto the map here before we get into the trailers and things one thing i've noticed people talking about is this over here which seems to be more oil similar to the original stuff we saw on the starting island Island. Now, at first I thought maybe this is just dark water, but if you actually step through it, it leaves a footprint that is very gooey. Like, do you see that? All of our steps remain there for like a second. And again, this is all over this location. There's a bunch over here as well. And even some way down here that you can see is super reflective and oily. But again, what does this mean and who is causing it? Well, there's two main theories. The first of which is that it's actually caused by Chaos Agent right here, who has a very very similar oil effect to what we see on the map there. And what we see in his description, it says undermine the order from the shadows, which is kind of weird because an unreleased loading screen within the files shows a bunch of characters from the imagined order and Chaos Agent is over on the right. Now we currently don't think that the imagined order is gone. Even though we saw Dr. Sloan get absolutely smacked in the live event, it kind of happened suddenly and we don't know if she's officially gone. So this could be signifying the return of the imagined order order inside of season four now on top of that there's also chaos origins which says he's a mad 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 scientist and again he's got the goo right down here so could this scientist now be working for the imagined order spreading goo around the map to consume everything we saw in that recent teaser that it's consuming the paradigm who is currently looking for a bunch of the other seven members that have gone missing again signifying that the chaos agent created this goo to attack the seven on top of that another theory here is that it could possibly be Phaedra, this character who also was seen with a sort of black liquid in the loading screen that was released with her. Now, if this was in a different season, I wouldn't be too sure. But again, she was released this season and her description says a dark sea witch with unknowable power. Again, signifying that she would well have the power to spread all of this liquid around the map and consume things. But I'm curious here, if we equip this skin, what happens if we talk, what happens if we talk to some NPCs? Now, first things first, I got to double check is the paradigm still at this location it uh doesn't look like it dang it that would have been a big sign because she's one of the only members of the seven that's still technically on the map the scientist is like way underground which we'll talk about later in the video he's even got a secret base but instead let's hop into the slipstream and head over to this spot on the map where there's another npc this one's more recent the seventh century sven but let's see does he have anything to say to chaos agent are you still working with the paradigm well Oh, hold on, wait a second. I'm not sure if that's unique text. I don't think it is. If it was with Chaos Agent, that would have been insane. Because like, again, if he was attacking Paradigm with that black liquid, maybe he betrayed her or something. But again, I think that's just normal text. Yeah, this time he says Paradigm doesn't want us to discuss the disappearances. Yo, that's pretty important as well because it has to do with the disappearances of a bunch of the members of the Seven. We've been finding their helmets around the map. And like this right here, the Origin hasn't issued new orders in days, implying that he's gone too. Hmm, very interesting. But guys, again, that is just the start of all of this info. Let's move on here to some of the teasers and the trailers. But first things first, Fortnite put up an official site for the next season. As you can see right here, it's just a pretty simple page that says Fortnite Paradise with the date September 18th, 2022. But there's actually secrets hidden inside of here. So if you go down to the left side and click this little icon, it'll actually start to play some sounds. Yeah, it's a, uh, a pretty weird sound, but obviously that's a big clue that Fortnite is giving us. Now, at first I thought about putting that into a spectrogram to see if there was any secret message. And unfortunately there's nothing. They usually like to hide something in there, but not this time. However, check this out right here. If we go onto YouTube and search Mercury sound, and like, for example, click on this video, which is just a video of the sound of the planet Mercury, listen to a snippet of it. 
Yeah, guys, that is super similar to the sound that can be heard on the Paradise website. But what does that mean? Well, obviously the name Mercury is very peculiar because that is the same name of a special element that looks very similar to some stuff inside of the trailers that Fortnite has put up recently. So there's actually a few trailers here. And even if you've seen them before, let me dive into some of the secrets with them. But like, for example, this first one that I saw is of this lady talking about like an organic pesticide that she's using. And then all of a sudden she pulls one of them off and it starts to turn into chrome and then more chrome spreads around the table before the video ends. Now, the first thing that we have to point out about that is obviously the chrome liquid that is spreading all around. It seems to be connected to the black goo that we've been seeing on the map. And even the one inside of that Fortnite Season 4 teaser that was released a little bit ago. Granted, this is obviously more chrome. And then that also connects with the website because this seems to be the element Mercury, which looks exactly like it. But that's not even the end of it. If you look in the background, even the stuff like the watering can and the shovel also turn chrome while all of this stuff is spreading. There's even the fact that she's picking tomatoes, which could be a reference to Tomato Head. Maybe the pizza pit is returning inside of season four. But either way, the next trailer here shows an even clearer view of that liquid. This looks like a cereal commercial where we get a super clear look at the liquid, which actually turns solid around all of the cereal and clearly again seems to confirm that it is in fact mercury. Now there's less secrets in here. Obviously the llama O's is more of an Easter egg. I don't think that means anything for the season unless it means the return of this dude. Oh gosh, it's bringing back nightmares. And then there's this trailer, which is very peculiar because it actually affects a person. Could this be a hint towards a brand new skin inside of the season four battle pass? I definitely think that's likely. And honestly, it kind of reminds me of those one bonus styles all the way back in chapter two, season six. And what's intriguing is that those were called the chromium styles. Next up guys, let's hop back onto the map here because Fortnite just added even more clues about this brand new season in the form of some challenges. So first things first, we got to go right down there underneath that tree. And this will be our first major clue. So let's see. I think the zero point brought us an old seven comms relay. We should collect it and try to contact the scientist. Yo, honestly, that's a good idea. I feel like the scientist would be the one to know what this goo is. And apparently the comm relay is right over here somewhere. Oh my gosh, I see it. Yo, there it is. All right. Any clues on this itself? That looks pretty intriguing. Nothing on this piece of paper. It's just blank. So I guess we just gotta interact with it. It's dead, and I'll be honest, I've destroyed all of my dongles in several dark charging experiments. Well, that's not good. We could charge it by passing it through a quantum energy cloud. Uh, excuse me? Yo, guys, what is this? They're calling these energy clouds, but they look like they're related to the reality tree back there, like they're reality orbs. Considering that they're right around the zero point, they're definitely related. Let's pick one up here. We gotta pick up nine more. All right, let's find out exactly what all of these do. And again, all of these challenges are leading up to some huge story stuff at the end. Oh, there's a baller. Don't notice us, please. Oh, the shark noticed us though. That's not good. Okay, final energy orb here. Let's pick it up. And now we just gotta plug it back into the comm relay. And there's uh, there's radio static contacting the scientist. I guess that's it. We gotta move on to the next challenge now. Next step, let's see what they have to say. I found the scientist. He's in his underground bio lab researching that strange substance spreading across the island. There we go, guys. The visitor is there too, along with the origin. Wait, we've been asked to find and bring some seven gear to the lab. So wait, all of those helmets that we found previously, the characters are still just hiding on the map? Okay, there's some mysteries here that we gotta figure out. Oh my gosh, we found something. Yo, that's the that's the origin, right? I think, let's see. This looks like what Mr. Big Blue and Responsible needs. I wonder what they're researching down there. I'm curious too, can you please tell me? I feel like they're gonna reveal a ton about season four. But apparently that's it for this part of the challenges. So again, why did we find that helmet and what are they researching in their secret? Secret underground base. We definitely got to figure that out, but we'll probably end up saving that for another video. So, with, so be sure to subscribe, click the button on the screen. You don't want to miss out on that. And also check out some of my previous videos here. But again, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.